I just got my cylinder heads back from the machine shop. Now it's time to do the engine compression ratio calculation. All the combustion chambers are polished on these cylinder heads and then I had the machine shop give the cylinder heads a valve job that flowed as good as possible. Then they were flat milled 30 thousandths. Then all the combustion chambers were cc'd and corrected to around 55 cc's each. That was done with the graduated cylinder much like this one. To be able to do the compression ratio calculation I needed all the figures and the cylinder head uh, combustion chamber cc volume was the last one. To do the calculation we also need the bore size. We know that this is 4.195 inches. It was punched 30 over. I also need to know the stroke of the engine. This is a factory stroke at 3.68 inches. I also need to know the dish volume on the piston with valve reliefs. These are all 27 cc's. I need to know the piston top to deck height at true top dead center. That was measured with a bridge fixture like this and can be seen in the cam to green video. When I had the number one piston at true top dead center and I measured a piston to deck height with this instrument here, I got nine thousandths of an inch. And finally, I'll need to know the compressed volume of the head gasket. I'll have to calculate that. They gave me the circle size of the head gasket and the compressed thickness. As you probably noticed, the volumes are measured in the metric system and a lot of the other measurements are in the English system. So the English measurements will be converted to metric for the uh, compression calculation. Here is the calculator I used for the calculations. This is a graphing calculator and I'm pretty sure it was one of the uh, first ones they came out with. It's a TI-81. If I remember right, I think I got this in 1988. We'll see if she can still graph a parabola. Still got it in her. Thanks for watching.